Well, I acquired these bees about three weeks ago now, so let's go and have a quick look at how they're doing. This is probably as busy as I've ever seen them. I mean, it's a gorgeous day today. We have a few gorgeous days and they are absolutely hectic. I mean, they're not hectic as in, I feel like I'm gonna get stung, but they're really, really busy. Absolutely incredible. Now, I think I'm really lucky to have got these because you can only get them certain times of the year if you have to pre-order them months ahead. I actually ordered mine last year and I bet I missed the date because I was out the country working. And this year the guy said he'd give me free, but I'd be back at the back of the list. And the guy only actually got a quarter of what he was meant to get. So I went down there anyway, and he said, well, I'd have to come back later on. Maybe they'd have some left. Uh, I wait till the end talking to people, you know, really nice people over there. And talking to the guy who was dishing them out at the end, and it turns out we had something in common. He used to be a pilot, and you know, I work in aircraft, so we talked a while. And then he said, oh, here you go. So I ended up getting a package. I am brand new at this as well, so it's a hell of a lot of learning. If you like Game of Thrones, their life is very similar. A lot of loyalty, a lot of murder. So we can see here the, the brood box here, which is the only area that's got any bees in at the moment. So I've probably had these about just maybe three weeks maximum. And so I left them in there with the queen in her box for probably two or three days. And then I had to take it all off, which I was really not looking forward to. And not because I was worried about getting stung, but more that I was uh, scared that I would crush her or she'd just fly away. But yeah, I really didn't, I've really been learning this as I'm going. Uh, reading a lot, watching a lot of YouTube videos. So the queen seems to be okay in there. I went and checked on her a few days later. Probably a week and a half, two weeks now. Uh, they've been doing their thing, but the weather's been terrible. So we've probably had three good days that's been like this, which is beautiful. The rest has been really rainy, including some thunderstorms, so they've not had a lot to do. So this is the brood box, basically in there they will create some honeycomb, so they'll build it vertically down and they'll create that for laying the babies in and they'll create it for feeding. So they'll put a lot of honey in there too. Now this is the super up at the top, so what you do is you put an excluder in here, so the queen can't go up and lay any babies up in the top box, so the bees just, once they go up there once they expand outside of the brood box and want to store more food they'll go up there and basically just fill it full of all honey and that's where you can extract it from and I'll show you that side in a, in a minute this is actually the the flow setup so I got this from Australia I think in 2005 and uh, it, I mean this looks absolutely buzzing if you don't mind me using mine in a pun this is the busiest I've seen it on this beautiful day and these guys are super, super friendly. I've got no worries. I, when I did take this apart, I did wear my gear and uh, I was really gentle and they did get a bit crazy. I sprayed them with a little bit of sugar water a bit, you know, just to keep them in there and stop them going, going too crazy. And uh, yeah, it really wasn't too bad, but you could tell they were rattled and they were making a lot more noise. So it really gives you an idea of if you can be close and they will tell you, you know, they will come and butt you in the head when it's time to back off. Uh, when you get these packages, they measure them in pounds as well. So you'll get, I think I got a four pound batch and I, I read somewhere that's about 8,000 bees. And when you get them, a lot of them are dead. So that's kind of worrying, but it's just, you know, they only live three or four weeks. So in the, you know, the traveling and the storage, you, you know, the, that many are gonna pass away. Some pass away due to the condition. So this was the can that came in the, in the actual box, the, the crate or the package that I got the bees and so I thought I'd just keep this. Uh, I did put some food that they gave me outside but we've got a lot of squirrels around here and I think the squirrels are just stealing it. So I put some rocks on top of here. I put some, a bit of the food in here with some sugar water. It's basically just one on one mix of water and sugar mixed together uh, and they seem to be going in there and using it. So give them a bit of food if they can't collect enough, give them a head start. Crazy dog down there. Oh, there's a little beetle on there, a little ladybug, sorry. So I'll move that away carefully and just show you in here. I just stuck a, some new wood in there and it, I don't know if there's any in there feeding. doesn't look like it. Oh yeah, there's one there. Hello, buddy. Maybe a bit dark. <laughs> I'll try and put this back without crushing one. There you go. 
And around the back here I've got, this is where the, you have the flows in this top box, so there's really no bees up here, or there will be a few gone up here through the extruder. But, so this, these four I can actually extract, maybe next year, maybe the end of this year, I don't know. So also on here we've got two normal frames and two normal frames, and there's eight frames down here. So I'm leaving them with eight frames for brood and honey, and then four more frames up here for honey. And then I'll just probably take, well I'll see how they fill, if it doesn't look like these are filling up, I probably won't take any. But I would like to take a little bit, so maybe just one frame if it's not looking too good. If it's packed full, take all four frames. So for me, I'll be actually happy when the bees start coming up and it means they filled this and they need more space for the honey so they start progressing up. And that'll be a, a tell, tell sign for me that it's doing quite well. And at the moment, I don't know if you can really see, there's not much in there, it won't focus it. Yeah, if I switch to manual focus, maybe we can see... You can just about see in there, you can see the flow frames, but there's also two regular frames in here as well. So I'm hoping to see the bees populate this, and that'll make me happier that the whole thing is going well, especially after three weeks or so because I believe the bees only live three or four weeks. So if, if the, the hive is still this uh, busy, you know, in five weeks, it means that they are reproducing and they're keeping the, the capacity up and growing, hopefully. They're really just trying to protect their hive. They don't really give a damn about us as less unless they see as a threat to the hive or you're trying to swap them on your face. Yeah, I feel like if you stand kind of in the path here, you will get a bit more aggro from them because you're in their way, where regardless if you're at the side of them, they tend to get out their flight path and they won't bother you as much. Now you can see on the landing strip here, I was watching a show the other day and it turns out these little guys here that are sticking their bum in the air and waving, they're, le they're releasing pheromones and it kind of steers the other bees towards them because they're not very good at finding the hole. It kind of, it's like their instrument landing system for aircraft <laughs> and they can lock in onto that and bring them straight in, improve the efficiency of them, find that door rather than wandering around for a, a long time. Well, that's a quick update on my little beehive. B, the bees of B, we could say, and uh, I'll give an update. Say I'm learning this, it's really great to read. You kind of learn every day, you read something. Every time you have to do something, you can go read about it, watch YouTube videos. Uh, it's really good for the area, and if you can get a little bit of honey out of it without sacrificing the beehive too much, it's a it's a win-win. So I'll post some more videos as I progress with this and see how they get along, hopefully if they do get along. So I'll uh, see you in the next one, bye-bye.